Hey folks, I'm Rusty Foster. And I'm Brent Green. And we'd like to welcome you to this presentation of the 2014 Toyota Tundra. Totally redesigned on the outside, redesigned in the cab. Underneath, it's the same great performance features that we've come to know since 2007. Now this is the third generation Tundra. In fact, it's in its 15th model year. It's made in San Antonio, Texas. And it has more U.S. content than any other full-size truck on the market today. Now the engine choices for the Tundra are the 5.7 liter V8, the 4.6 liter V8, and the 4 liter V6. It's available in a regular cab, a double cab, or a crew max. It's also available in rear wheel drive or part-time four wheel drive. Now the model grades for this year are the SR entry level, the SR5, the limited, and we have two premium grades this year, the platinum and the 1794 edition. The 1794 edition is inspired by the JLC Ranch, where our truck plant is located, which was founded in 1794. It's the true Western edition of the Toyota Tundra. Today, we're going over the Platinum 4x4. Several changes have taken place on Tundra's front grille. The top now includes a mock air inlet, and the body has a brand new shadow box design, which really helps add depth to the look of the Tundra. You may have noticed that Tundra's grills come in four unique styles and finishes. Now that helps differentiate trim levels. Your SR and your SR5 will have a matte black grill. Your limited and 1794 edition will have a silver billet with chrome grill surrounds, and your platinum will have a silver billet with color key grill surrounds. Tundra's new bumper has been built as a three-piece modular design. Now this is a great cost benefit to the customer. In the event that any piece is damaged, the customer simply replaces the one damaged piece. Other changes are in Tundra's headlights. We now use a single halogen bulb and have daytime running lights standard on all models. In fact, your Tundra's premium grades will receive high intensity LED daytime running lights. All Tundra's will come standard with fog lights, SR5 and up. Now part of the new bumper design includes a lower bumper valance. That combined with a new aero corner and also the hood line's been raised 1.6 inches. We're directing the airflow underneath, over the top, and down the sides more effectively than we did in the previous gen. Also, under the hood, which by the way opens from the top of the grill instead of the bottom of the grill, you'll notice that you have sound dampening material, which helps reduce noise, vibration, and harshness. Now the new Tundra design includes sharp lines and integrated fender flares, both front and back. There are three new colors for this year, Attitude Black, Sunset Bronze Mica, and Blue Ribbon Metallic. Today we're looking at the Magnetic Gray Metallic. Now the new Tundra comes standard with power adjusting, folding, heated outside mirrors. In fact, on the premium grades, these are power folding with a switch on the driver's side. Also, they're auto dimming, they're memorized with the seat position, and they have an integrated turn signal. Also added for 2014, Vortex generators to help improve stability. Now some of the interior changes include soft touch materials on the door and on the dash. Now the upper glove box has been eliminated, but we still have the large lower glove box. Also new for 2014 is the incorporation of wheel seats in the front seat. Whiplash injury lessening seats that help reduce spinal injuries. Now the console has also been redesigned and includes a passenger side storage compartment. Now with the incorporation of wheel seats in the front, which is a thinner yet stronger seat back, we picked up an inch and a half of additional leg room in the back seat. The rear headrest flipped down so that when you don't have rear seat passengers, it improves visibility. Now with the previous generation Crew Max, the seat backs would fold down to create your flat load surface. The challenge is it had a real high lift over height. So with the double cab, as well as the Crew Max now, the lower seat cushion flips up. That opens up your cargo area floor to ceiling and reduces the lift over height by 11 inches. There are four new wheel designs this year for Tundra, including one 18-inch steel wheel, two types of 18-inch aluminum wheels, 
and three types of 20-inch aluminum wheels reserved for our premium and limited grades. There are many wheel options this year for the 2014 Tundra, including the TRD package of an 18-inch alloy wheel with high-performance Michelin off-road tires. Like the front bumper, Tundra's rear bumper has been set up as a three-piece modular design and also has been enhanced to house available blind spot monitor and parking sensors. The four to seven pin trailer wire connector has been relocated this year. It used to sit next to the hitch and has now been relocated next to the license plate. The new location will help better protect the connector and will also make hitching your trailer a breeze. And at night, the license plate illumination will better help you find it. The rear combination lamps now use a wraparound design and incorporate twin vortex generator fins to help in the aerodynamic stability and Tundra's rear end grip. The bed and tailgate inner dimensions are carried over from the previous generation Tundra. The outer sheet metal and the tailgate have been redesigned to follow the chiseled theme. The rear lockable tailgate has a damper assist to prevent it from slamming down when opened and also lightens the load enough to allow for one hand closing. An integrated spoiler helps control airflow over and around the back lip of the bed. The rear tailgate also features a unique Tundra stamping that enhances the chiseled look. Now, leather heated bucket seats are standard on the Limited as well as the premium grades, and that includes a 10-way power driver's seat. On the premium grades, you get a four-way power passenger seat standard. Also on the premium grades, it includes a high quality perforated leather and the seats are also ventilated. On the premium grades, you get a two position driver side memory. Now on the SR and the SR5, they come standard with a bench seat with a fold down armrest and center console. However, the SR5 has an available bucket seat option that includes an eight way power driver seat. Now the console center storage is actually increased in size. It also includes an integrated storage tray in the console lid. You have two additional storage trays, one on the dash as well as one next to the power ports. Now a power moonroof is standard on the premium grades as well as available on the limited crew max. Parking sonar is standard on the premium grades and available on the limited crew max. A blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert is available on the premium grades as well as the limited crew max. Now the Tundra still comes standard with eight airbags, including roll sensing side curtain airbags. However, the off switch has been eliminated due to new government regulations. Each Tundra will have grade specific trim on the center stack and dash. The SR and SR5 added black trim dash with SR5 adding silver highlights. Limited incorporates a linear wood grain pattern with synthetic leather and stitching. Platinum will use a brushed aluminum style with synthetic leather and quilted stitching. The 1794 edition has a maple wood grain pattern with genuine brown leather and stitching. One big change, the center line has moved over two and a half inches towards the driver. The audio head unit has become the biggest focus of the dash. This makes everything much easier to reach for anyone behind the wheel of Tundra. A hooded driver's side instrument cluster includes Tundra's essential operating gauges. At its center on SR5 and higher models, a 3.5 color multi-information screen shows the odometer, MPG average, and other driving data. SRV8 has a 2.2 multi-information display screen, and the SRV6 has a segmented multi-information LCD screen. Limited Platinum and 1794 edition grades include automatic dual zone climate control for the passengers. The air conditioning unit also doubles as a dehumidifier to reduce dampness and window fog. The HVAC system includes a filter for pollen and dust and an electric layer that catches objects with static electricity. Manual single zone HVAC with a filter is standard on SR and SR5 grades. A standard tailgate mounted backup camera activates when Tundra is in reverse to assist in parking and helps make hitching a trailer a breeze. The 2014 Tundra is fitted with Toyota's second generation Intune audio system, available in four levels of increasing utility and enjoyment. Intune audio is our entry level and is standard on our SR. Intune audio plus will be standard on SR5. Intune premium audio with navigation and app suite is standard on our limited and optional on our SR5. And the Intune premium JBL audio with navigation and app suite 
which is standard on our Platinum and 1794 edition and optional on our Limited, will come incorporated with 12 high-end JBL speakers. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for today. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the 2014 Toyota Tundra, and I hope that you picked up a few things that you can use. I'm Rusty Foster. And I'm Brent Green. Toyota, let's go places.